Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to talk about how to care for your cloths. So when you've been using your cloth, you're gonna to want to rinse it out really well. You can take the cloth and scrub it on itself, just like that, rinse it in hot water. That's gonna allow the fibers to swell and the junk is gonna rinse out of them. Then you wanna take it and use this hook and hang it up to dry. The reason that we hang it up to dry is the oxygen flowing through this cloth is gonna activate the silver, which is then gonna to go to work, killing the bacteria in the cloth. If you have something that you clean up that was really gross, go ahead and take our dishwashing liquid, put a dab of this on the cloth, scrub it, rinse it out, and it's gonna make it so that it will be able to be used longer and you don't have to wash it as often. If you were going to buy your Norwex cloths, you're gonna love them, you're gonna use them, and you're gonna need to clean them because they're gonna do a lot of cleaning for you and you're gonna wanna get them clean so you can keep using them again and again and again. Okay, so this is something that is kind of misunderstood. People think that because they have the silver in them, this backlog technology, that you don't need to wash your cloths, and that's not true. You do want to wash them. Do you have to wash them as often? No, that's what's so cool. I wash my Norwex every one and a half to two weeks, and it's great. It's a lot less than I was washing my towels and kitchen cloths before. So the reason that you can wash them less often is because of the silver. But the reason that you want to wash them at all is because you're using them so much they're picking up so much stuff these fibers are doing their job getting all the bacteria and crumbs and food and everything that you're wiping up trapping in the cloth and if you rinse it every time it's going to last a lot longer but it's going to get to the point where yeah it's getting a little stiff it needs to be washed so i'm going to talk to you about the different products that we have to care for your cloths the first one is our Norwex laundry detergent. This is one of the top sellers from Norwex. It works really well, it's really concentrated. It doesn't have any of the things that we're not supposed to be using like phosphates, brighteners, dyes, fragrances, fillers. All of these things, they're not good for us. Our Norwex detergent does not have any of those items. So on the back here, there's some uh, directions for what to use, but I have found with my customers and a lot of other consultants have too, that you can use a lot less than that. So grab a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on if you have a regular machine or an HE wash machine, take the scoop that's in here, toss it out, give it to your kids to play with, use your tablespoon and your teaspoon. So if you have a high efficiency washing machine, you are gonna use one half to one teaspoon per load. That's it. That's gonna get you a lot of loads out of this bag of detergent. If you do not have an HE washing machine, you're gonna use one half to one tablespoon depending on the load size. That's what I use, I don't have an HE washing machine. So one tablespoon, sometimes less or more depending on the size of the load, will clean my laundry, it cleans my Norwex. And yes, I use this for all of my laundry, not just my Norwex. It's cheaper than anything I found on the, in the grocery store before, and it works better. Okay, the other option that we have is our liquid laundry detergent. This is one of our newer products. It works really well for everyone who has the liquid dispenser for their uh, washing machine. And it was really great at cleaning organic stains, human stains, food stains, grass stains, all sorts of things like that. This has an enzyme in it that will clean your cloths and your clothes really, really well. So what do I use when I clean my Norwex? <clears throat> I'm gonna use hot water, no bleach, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets, okay? All those things are bad. Bleach will break down the cloth, the fibers, it will just break them down. It actually breaks down all the things that you use it on. Then fabric softener and dryer sheets will also coat, coat the cloths and wear them out, okay? So if you put a dryer sheet in with your cloth, it's gonna stick to it like this and you have to peel it off and it leaves a residue in your cloth. It's gonna make it less effective at cleaning. And then you're not gonna be as happy as you were when you first used it. So if you're buying these cloths, treat them well, okay? So no bleach, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets. You wanna wash it on hot water and you do not wanna wash it with lint high fabrics, like towels. So I recommend to my customers, if I don't have a lot of Norwex, throw it in with a load of your sheets. Those are low lint content. They're not gonna add lint to your cloths and are gonna make it so they don't work as well, okay? So then when you get it to the dryer, we have two options for dryer balls. Did you guys know that dryer balls can replace your dryer sheets and your fabric softener? Amazing! 
Normax has two different kinds of dryer balls. There's the plastic dryer balls and the fluff and tumble dryer balls. The plastic dryer balls are football shaped. Both of these dryer balls fluff around in the dryer, fluff your clothes, and cut your drying time, okay? So it's saving on energy, saving on your electricity, and it's cutting down the use of dryer sheets and fabric softener because it's softening your clothes as they go without all of the yucky stuff that comes with dryer sheets, okay? So the plastic ones, there's those. And the wool dryer balls, these are wool all the way through down to the core, okay? This is wool from New Zealand sheep, which they treat their sheep better than anyone else in the harvesting of the wool. And these will not unravel and fall apart, unlike other dryer balls that are just a little bit of wool with the cardboard center. If you want a scent in your laundry, you can use essential oils. Norwex actually has some essential oils. Or if you have other essential oils that you use, pick whatever scent you want and put a dab or two on your dryer ball and it's gonna give your laundry a fresh scent without all of those yucky stuff that's in the detergent that is giving us the scent now. Okay, a couple of other things I wanted to show you. Norwex has an awesome stain remover. This has been a lifesaver for us. We have little kids who spill everything on their clothes or getting into stuff. A dab of this, let it soak for a little bit and then wash it with my Norwex detergent. It comes out. I don't even have to scrub most of my stains. It works so well. The last thing I want to talk about is the microfiber cleaner laundry booster. This is what you want to use when your cloths need a deep clean. That's when they start to get stinky. Even though you've washed them, that means that they need a really good solid cleaning. This is something you only need to do every six months or so, depending on how often you use your cloths. So you take some boiling water or really hot water in your washing machine and you add this to it and throw your cloths in, let it soak for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it out. That stuff that's gonna come out of there may gross you out, but it's because your cloths have been working so hard cleaning for you and they really do hold on to everything. So that is how you can get your cloths really clean after months and months of use. This is how you can care for these products. These products can make a difference in your home. They can create a safe haven for you and your family with your laundry, with how you clean, and how you care for these cloths that you're cleaning. Thank you.